What's up, YouTube? Tim from SSG, and I'm back here again with Kyle G. What did you just do, Kyle? I came in 16th place at the Springfield Regional. Who were you playing? I was playing Cyber Dragons. All right, sweet. Let's get this deck. So I uh, started off three Cyber Dragons, duh. Uh, three Cyber Dragon Core. This is your starter card. Saw it a lot today. It was great. Um, three hers. Um, it basically replaces itself in your combo, and it's like super helpful for what the deck does. For the last Cyber Dragon monster, I played a one of Veer. If you open core dupe in this with any other monster in hand, you have like a, an amazing board and setting setting the overflow. And uh, I did it a lot today. Three Galaxy Soldier because he's an honorary Cyber Dragon, and you just use him for a ton of different plays. For my hand traps, I got a little weird. I used two Snow, uh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, one Veiler, and two Ash. I was originally running three of this, but I ended up cutting one because these kept clogging. But the more lights you have, the better, because they work in tandem with your Galaxy Soldier. And Ash, you need it for the reincarnations and whatnot that's running around. Moving on to spells, it's a lot of three ofs. Three Cyber Emergency, it's your rota for your core. You always wanna see core. Three beautiful machine duplications, because if you resolve this, you win the game. Three Sky Striker Mobilize Engage, and the three Hornet Drones. So in testing, I basically found out that if you machine duplication, you get two free machines for the value of one card. If you Sky Striker Drones, you get the Kagari, and you replace the Kagari with Hayate, and the token with the Shizuku, and surprise, you have two free machines which is the same idea, you're, you're gonna go off and get to your big boards either way. Uh, I opted to play two separate pair plants. A lot of people were going down to one, but every time I saw this, I was going to link away my core into a Seeger, and this immediately got me to Galaxy Soldier, which made my plays much more offensive. I recommend keeping this at two. For one ofs, I played a one of Foolish Burial and a one of Desires. I'm a little iffy on the Desires, but both of these just helped the consistency ever so slightly to where some hands just became super playable. Traps, I always opted to go second, so three evenly matched. Because if you go evenly and then set up a small board, they can't come back, especially with Infinity. And then the card that I preach is amazing is three of the Cybernetic Overflow. There was only one time today where I kind of wish I went down to two on it, but if you go your standard combo, which is Seeger pointing at Griffin, pointing at Infinity, and you set this in the back row using Griffin, you end with that board, this set, two in hand, and four, three or four Cyber Dragons to blow their entire board. It's, it's amazing. It doesn't target. They have to change the activation. They can't mess with your grave because you can just pick different targets. This card is amazing. And then it replaces itself. Moving on to the extra token. One Hayate, one Shizuku, one Kagari. You need all three of these for the, the Hornet Drone shenanigans. One Seeger. There was one time today where I wish I had the second, but one will get you by. One Cleefort Genius. Uh, you can do really crazy combos with uh, Machine Duke to where you get the extra search for Galaxy Soldier off of this. One Link Karibo. Uh, there's going to be times where you open hers and you need to get it off the field just to get a quick search. Uh, Summon Sorceress, you need it for the combo, works really well in the deck. Griffin, yet again you need it for the combo and you can set your overflow which that in itself blows away their whole board. Uh, Xyz, it's two Nova and two Infinity. This is standard, never gonna change. I opted to play the one of Pallades because if they interrupt your combo, you can still end on Summon Sorceress, Infinity Pallades, or Cleefor Genius, Infinity Pallades, and that's still really, really good going first. Then I played two of the Mega Fleet. I think this was correct. I ended up siding the other fusion for the Mirror Match or for ABC or for Striker. Uh, I was just outing boss monsters all day and just poking them for 24 after I had already lowered them on life. Uh, there was hero players playing A Hero Lives, and as soon as they paid the 4k, I knew with this and one other monster I could kill them. Uh, side deck. Three twin twisters because I can't win against Geiss or back row decks. Helps with floodgates. 
Same thing with Red Reboot. Uh, I really fear the Altergeist matchup if I can't evenly them. One Chimera Tech for the Mirror, ABC, or Striker. It came up twice today. I decided the, the best thing for the deck right now is the uh, Sanctum Engine. Every time they, I got the feeling they were going to make me go first, I sided this in against Goki, summoned Scythe, and they basically scooped their cards because they couldn't out this thing's effect and an Infinity and a Seeger, and then you just pushed for 8k the following turn. And last card, I wanted to play 3 of Inspector Border, but Droll and Mock put in way too much work today to say that I wanted to take it out. Uh, there was a lot of Goki, a lot of Sky Striker, Trickstar. This was just drop. They left a suboptimal board. I made a big push and nearly OTK'd them. It was great. Any changes you make going forward? Um, possibly making the one of extra overflow into a cyber rev system because there's some alternate combos you can do with it. Mm -hmm. But um, the side deck might change a little, but altogether it did really well today. The only thing that really was a hindrance, believe it or not, was the time rule. But uh, quickly, my matchups were round one was Goki, that was a tie. Round two was Necroz, that was also a tie. Started off two ties, wasn't looking good. Round three was Geist, that was a win. Round four was Pure Striker, that was a win. Round five was Goki, that was a win. Round six was Infernoid, that was a loss. Uh, round seven was Trickstar and Mech Knight. Um, we went back and forth really hard, and in all fairness, he should have had the game, but. It went to me, I made a big push for 4k damage, uh, went into my main phase 2 to solidify my board further, and then time got called, and it was kind of sad. I honestly thought he should have won the match. Round 8 was a uh, 60 card Goki Hero in the finals, and that was a really fun match. My final record was 5-1-2 for 16th place. Sweet. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to Silverstorm Gaming for always helping me with these profiles, getting me out there. Shout out to my locals, Untapped Games and Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Shout out to Team Lavender, shout out, shout out to Luxury Gaming and Joe Bogley, they're always giving me pointers and help. And uh, shout out to all my friends back at Untap for helping me test, especially my boy Jose. Sweet. Congratulations. Thanks Thank for the deck profile. Tim's